there, it stopped. I'm on the bottom now. And so I'm just gonna do a yo-yo technique. Up and down, just like this. There we go, hooked up again. They're definitely starting to bite now. How's it going today everyone, Creek Crawler here. I am in Southeast Ohio on the Ohio River. And today I'm gonna go over, it's gonna be a how-to video on catching sauger in the Ohio River. And one of the techniques I like to use, there's a few different techniques you can use. You can use little swim baits. You can use little uh, jerk baits work well. I just saw somebody catch one on a jerk bait down here, down the ways from me. But the technique I'm gonna be using is using a, a small vibrating blade bait. Just a little blade bait, the Vibes. The Vibes are what I like to use and I'm gonna be using a little heavier one. I'll get to my gear here in a moment. But yeah, we're gonna go out here on the Ohio River, try to catch some sauger before it gets too dark. It's December 2nd. December 2nd or 3rd, I don't know what day it is, but <laughs> stay tuned for the action. Let's see if we can't catch the fish today, guys. <gasps> Let's go! All right, before we get started on our how-to video today, I'm gonna go over the gear. I'm gonna be throwing the Vibe on, which is, this is a 3 8 ounce. It's a pretty heavy one, but I got my Daiwa Zillion with 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. I got a Daiwa Steez. I just got this. It's a 7.3 medium heavy fast action, rated a quarter ounce to one ounce with line of 10 to 12, 20 pound and this is the utility player it's a pretty fancy rod i've never really gotten myself something this nice before uh it's different but it's what i'm gonna be throwing the blade bait on here in the ohio river i think this is a clown color i'll link it down i'll put the name of this vibe right here and uh yeah we're going to try to jig around the method i'm gonna be using is just a yo-yo method i'm gonna cast it out let it sink, hit the bottom, kind of jig up. You're gonna lose some lures. Sauger fishing here on the Ohio River, but that just comes with the territory because these fish are so positioned on the bottom. They just like to swim on the bottom. Every now and then you'll catch them suspended chasing bait fish, but I don't see a lot of bait fish going around. It's December 2nd. The water temperature's probably in the high 40s maybe, but yeah, let me go over here to the right and show you the retrieving method I use for the Vibe. All right, so what I like to do in the Ohio River, bomb it out here and just let it sink. Keep your line, your thumb on the spool and kind of let it sink. And as soon as it stops, there, it stopped. I'm on the bottom now. And so I'm just going to do a yo-yo technique, up and down, just like this. Reel the slack in, bring it in, reel the slack in, bring it in, reel the slack bring it in and what these saugers will do they'll hit it either on the bottom or when you're bringing it back up or sometimes they'll even hit it on the fall you're going to get these saugers in different feeding moods and different feeding patterns but the yo-yo technique is extremely deadly and the cool thing about the ohio river is you can get into some sauger you can get into some walleye even catch some smallmouth spotted bass with this technique um, in the winter time which is pretty awesome, which is another cool thing about the Ohio River is you, just, you never know what you're gonna get. But just using that yo-yo method. Oh, I think we got something actually. Oh, he just got off. He just got off. We had something little. But this is a spot we're gonna focus on and let's see if we can't catch him on the yo-yo method. Got a little baby sauger. <laughs> it's the smallest sauger I've ever caught in my life. Little baby sauger. There you go, buddy. There we go. That was a little better than the last one. There we go.
kind of found their location now out there in the center awesome tad bigger than the last one so we're heading in the right direction there you go buddy all right i think we got their location narrowed down here There we go, hooked up again. They're definitely starting to bite now. This one feels a little bigger than the last one. Oh, it is, nice. All right, we're, we're, we're trending in a better direction. Oh, chill out, buddy. Right there on the blade bait. A tad bit bigger than the last one, heck yeah. I'll take it. Thumped it thing. I'm starting to get the hang of it now. Just the motion that they're wanting. There you go, buddy. Next cast. Found a school of them. That's our fourth one. They're small, but man, these things are in deep water. I'm counting probably at least 10 feet deep out where I'm casting. And they're stacked up. I literally walked 20 feet from where I was fishing for like an hour, half hour, and not really catching nothing. I move. And it's starting to pay off, and they're not big, but catching fish in december so I'll, I'll, I'll take no matter the size of the fish i'm gonna take it this guy got himself in a he ate the whole back trouble it's our fourth one in like 20 minutes and i think the biggest thing is it's a cigar little dude but fun nonetheless there you go buddy missed one it didn't feel big but I definitely had a bite. And that's the cool thing is in the wintertime, you can find these saugers schooled up. And once you get on a location and you catch one or two, just stay there because that means they're relating to something down there on the bottom. Oh, there we go. Look, I got something. Yep. I told you. There it is. That's a nice one too. Heck yes. Just as, oh, just as I was talking about it. Did he get away? Is he down here? That was a nice, decent one too. Is he down here? He might've got out. Oh yeah, he definitely got out. Did he? No, he's still down there. Do I put my hand down there and catch him? Oh, I feel, I feel his tail. Come here, buddy. Guys, this is freezing cold. Come here. Oh, God. Oh, God, that was cold. Whoo. <laughs> there we go. Another sauger on the vibey. That water's pretty cold. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, let's get a release. I think we found a good location. And that's key is finding a spot and keep moving until you find a bite. And I just had a little nibble right before him. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're in the spot. We'll keep casting here. All right, my hand's freezing.
Oh, shoot. Well, there goes that one. There goes that vibey. We'll go switch to another color and hopefully they're biting it. Cause I've caught five on that one. All right, we got a few more minutes till it gets totally dark. Let's try to get one more. I just lost that one vibey. We'll try a chartreuse and white one. See if we can't pick off another one before it gets too dark down here. There we go. Hit that on the fall. Might be our last one, but that's six. He's about to flop off. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Chill out, buddy. I'm coming down. Got me with the treble hook. I'll get you. There we go. Number six for the day. There you go. Perfect. He hit that one on the fall. I felt that. Kept and another cool, another thing to keep in mind with your blade bait is keep your line tight as that blade's going down, because sometimes they'll hit it when it's just fluttering down, and they'll just take it and sit there with it. So keep that line tight and just kind of lift into them. And if you've noticed during this video, I'm not hook setting them. I'm just reeling in the pressure and keeping the pressure on them, because these treble hooks on these vibes are super, super sharp. And once they get one of these, usually they're hitting that tail one right there. They're getting the whole treble in their mouth. So you just kind of lift up into them and it penetrates their mouth perfectly. There's no hook set required. You're just kind of reeling into them and reeling into the weight of the fish. There we go, right at the bank. Right at the bank, he smoked it. That's number seven for the day. I will take that. I'm gonna keep going. You got yourself all in a pickle, didn't you, buddy? He got that right at the bank. They might be moving closer to the bank as the sun goes down, chasing the bait fish up shallower. Perfect. There we go. What's that number seven? On the blade bait, on the blade technique. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> nice. This is some deep water, holy smokes. There we go, right off the bottom, big sauger. Right on the bottom of that deep water. It's deep over there. Check that out. Right there on the divine swim bait, the bigger one. Yeah, he'll probably be 14 inches or so. All right, let's get a measurement on him and let him go. Choked it. He thumped that thing. Uh, he ain't gonna be 16, but 13 three quarter. This water's super deep, he'll be all right. Here you go, buddy. Alrighty, we're going to end it here down at the Ohio River. A little tutorial video on using Vibes down here for Sauger. 
It's a very, very deadly technique in the winter time where it's, it's December 3rd to confirm it's December 3rd today. We had a beautiful, beautiful day. It was in the high 40s, low 50s. Came down to the spot at around 3.30. It's, we finished up at 5.30. Couple hours in it, we got seven sauger. And granted, they weren't giants by any means, but I caught seven sauger in a couple hours in December. And it was just a way to scratch the itch. I've been trying to catch smallmouth. It's been tough for me. I haven't had a lot of time to fish, honestly. Trying to graduate, which I graduate next weekend, and I'm super pumped. So hopefully I can dedicate more time to my YouTube channel and make some awesome content that you can learn from. Here in Ohio, I absolutely love helping Ohio anglers be successful. This is a sport that I care passionately about, and I want as many people as possible to go out there and enjoy fishing, protect the resource, take care of the resources that we have in our great state. And I absolutely have a blast doing it and I appreciate everyone supporting me throughout the year. It's been an awesome year. It's been an awesome year for my YouTube channel. A lot of people have been reaching out to me saying that my, my content has helped them and that's my goal as a creator is to help and educate anglers and to create better stewards of the landscape. If you'd like to grab some vibes, you can hit up Vance Outdoors in Hebron, Obetz in Lebanon. They got the vibes. I was throwing a 3 8 ounce, lost it, threw a quarter ounce and caught my last one of the day on it. But the area I'm fishing is not a lot of current. If you're fishing heavy current for sauger, get the 3 8s. If you're not fishing heavy, a quarter ounce can do. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!